in the question number 23 we have to look for the inducer of lac opron you know lac opron is an inducible opron it's an inducible opron in the inducible opron what happens naturally normally it is in the off state normally it is in the off state then with the help of the inducer it is turned on with the help of the inducer with the help of a chemical it is turned on and in the case of the lac opron the function of inducer is performed by lactose or allolactose so which is the right option here option number 4 so answer is 4 for this question question number 24 a very simple question of genetics related with the monohybrid cross so all of you might be knowing that in the case of the monohybrid cross what is the genotypic ratio so we have to look for the genotypic ratio yes that is 1 is to 2 is to 1 this is the genotypic ratio don't confuse it with the 3 is to 1 ratio that is the phenotypic one so 1 is for homozygous tall this 2 this is heterozygous tall and again one this is for the homozygous condition or you can simply say dwarf condition right so now we can look for the right option that is 1 to 1 tall homozygous tall heterozygous and dwarf condition right so now we can move on to the question number 25 here so let's discuss question number 25 here now this is a nematode which cause a disease which is known as root knot disease right this is the disease so it means the part which is infected in the tobacco plant that is root here so the right answer here is option number 1 question number 26 so you have to look for the option which is not associated with the mitosis so just now i have discussed one question with respect to the meiosis in the meiosis i have told you that during the zygotean stage pairing of homologous chromosome occurs and what do you call the pairing of homologous chromosomes as it is known as synapses it is known as synapses so synopsis is the feature of meiosis not mitosis so it means the right option for this question is option number 1 so let's move on to the question number 27 here 